of this interior conference quarterfinal series and we can take a look at the highlights from tonight's hockey game and how this game was played the warriors eight goals in this opening game and well they kick started it off in the opening period with a terrific goal by Jack Pritton. The first of his three on the night, Don gave the Warriors a 1-0 lead, batting this puck out of midair. Yeah, it was just, uh, <clears throat> I tell you, you got to have some kind of good hand-eye coordination, and, you know, you're traveling at a good speed, too, and, uh, boy, I'll tell you, that was a great goal by Jack Pritton. Uh, he's got that offensive flair. Pritton gets the marker and gives the Warriors a 1-0 lead. That goal coming at 8:26, and then Johannes Lockberg end-to-end finishing over the blocker side of Braden McIntosh at 1340, and the Warriors take a 2-0 lead. Yeah, that was just, uh, boy, that's a highlight reel goal. I'm sure that Johannes Lockerberg won't forget that one for a long time because uh, that, they, they don't have them very often. It was just great. Great way to go open the period for the Warriors, take a 2-0 lead, and then Sean Cohane from the left point threw a shot on after taking a drop pass from Felix Caron. Goes off of Joseph Blackley, the defender in front, into the back of the net. Cohane's first career BCHL playoff goal Gives the Warriors a 3-0 lead. They take that into the second period where the Bucs made a game of it at 16-22. They got some pressure late in the second period, and it's Jacob Fletcher who finds the back of the net courtesy of a power play from Noah Ernest and Joseph Blackley to give the advantage of a 1-0 score, or uh, uh, to give the advantage of the Warriors of 3-1 going into the third when the Warriors just took over this game. A five-goal third period. Jack Pritham second at 3:52. Yeah, just a great rebound, and of course, Jack's not going to miss that. Uh, he's just a real talented player, and he's not going to miss that, and he didn't. So Pridham gets the marker there to make it a 4-2 uh, game at that point, and then Cal Hughes on the power play just over a minute later, his first of the playoffs from Isaiah Norland and Trent Wilson. Hughes gets the pass on a nice feed, or gets the puck on a nice feed from Norland and is able to bury it in the back of the goal. At that point, that was the Warriors' uh, second power play goal of the night. That made the game 5-1, to one, but... Bryce Sucro finds the back of the net on the opportunity on the power play of their own for Cranbrook. Actually, just as the power play expired, Sucro at the front of the net tips that one home at 8.55. That makes it a 5-2 game, but then the Warriors really took over this game uh, later in the period. Don, 11-24. Trent Wilson alone in front picks up the marker and gives the Warriors a 6-2 lead. Yeah, Trent Wilson actually was really alone. You watch this basically. He's kind of by himself, and he can do all kinds of things with it and uh, made no mistake with that as well, but didn't have a lot of uh, anybody hassling him on that one. So Wilson gets the goal there with the assist going to Kier Costas <clears throat> and Hughes, and then just over 20 seconds later, in fact, just 24 seconds after that, Owen Drury with his first of the playoffs. Nice feed from Elliott Compton, and Drury snipes one off the glove of McIntosh into the back of the net. Drury's first of the playoffs from Elliott Compton and from Landon Hilditch. At 11.48, that made the game 7-2, and then the Warriors cap it off, Don. The hat-trick marker for Jack Pridham got a little luck involved on a bounce that went his way, but the Warrior forward had a good night and picks up the marker to make it an 8-2 game. Well, you know, when you get eight goals, you're going to get a bounce or two. That's just the way. The bounces went uh, the Warriors' way tonight, and they uh, come away with game one. So 8-2 the final. Jack Pridham completes the hat-trick. The Warriors win game one here over the Cranbrook Bucks. Uh, we will turn things over from